All right, so in this particular video, I'm gonna talk about voiceovers. If you don't know already, voiceovers are basically the audio, uh, the audio of the person talking. So uh, in the previous video, we talked about writing a video script and voiceovers are basically people that sound like, you know, radio DJs and things like that, or those people that you hear on commercials and these types of people will read a script. Now, there are two choices here. You can either create your own voiceover or you can hire a voiceover talent. One thing I want to mention, I'm going to put a list here so that you can see. One thing that is very, very important is that the quality of your voiceover needs to be very good. There can't be any white noise. There can't be any amateur quality because your promotional video is pretty much relying on your voiceover. If your voiceover is not good, then you're gonna make your product look amateur. And here's why. The voice is everything. You can remove, if you remove the soundtrack and the visual aspect of it, then yes, the conversions might drop. But if you add a bad voiceover, then your whole promotional video is just gonna drop in conversions. So that's why I emphasize voiceovers, the quality must be good. So if you're gonna create your own voiceovers, you need to speak very slowly and sound excited, but not too excited. But of course, it depends on what kind of promotional video that you're doing. If, if you realize this, if you've noticed this, if you go on radios, um, if you listen to the radio and you hear a commercial, generally those voiceovers are very hypey, very salesy, very excited. If you listen to a 30 second car commercial, the guy sounds pretty excited. And that's fine. You just need to figure out what your market will be open to. When you create your own voiceovers, you need to have a good microphone. When I say good microphone, I mean pretty decent microphone. So you need something like a condenser microphone. If you think you're gonna do promotional videos in the long run, then you need to probably study voiceovers and how they're done and things like that. Now, just to get you started, there are two things that you're going to need. You're going to need a microphone and you're going to need some sort of recording software. If you're on a low budget, then I'd re recommend that you use a software called Audacity, as you can see here. So if you type in the keywords Audacity download free, you can go to audacity.sourceforge.net and then you'll find the software there. It's free, it's professional, and it works great. Now, I use Camtasia because it has a lot of additional features to it, like removing white noise and things like that. Audacity has that too, but it doesn't work as well in my experience. You also need a good microphone. If we go to eBay and you type in something like a Samson, Microphones. Samson microphones are great and you can get studio quality microphones and the good thing about Samson microphone is their USB, you know, so you, you can plug it in directly into your computer because they're USB. Most studio microphones require you to plug it into like a mixer and things like that. But with a USB related microphone, it keeps things simple and you don't need to know all that technical setup. So if you go to Google, type in eBay plus Samson microphone, or Samson USB microphone, then you can go to eBay like this, and you can see the microphones that are available to you. There are many different microphones that Samson makes as you can he see here, we have a podcast kit. Um, you can have, this is about the average price for a pop filter, 
a microphone and a boom mic stand, which is great. Now, as you can see, $164 is a little more expensive, but if you're gonna hire a voiceover person, it's gonna cost about $75 to $100 or more anyways. So if you can learn how to do voiceovers and you have a good voice, you can learn to speak slowly and you're confident that you can create good voiceovers, then maybe it's time to invest in this. However, if you don't think you have a good voice and you don't want to spend all the time to learn how to correctly create voiceovers, which is far different than what I'm doing now, creating Camtasia videos is far different than creating voiceovers. But if you're willing to go that route, then I'm showing you what you can do to possibly go that route. However, if you want to hire a voiceover talent, here's how to do it. If you go to Google, you can go to places like Guru.com. Guru.com is a great place to find voiceover talents. Actually, many, many, many years ago, I went to Guru.com and I was able to find a lot of good voiceover talents there. Another place would be Elance.com. I haven't personally used Elance, so I can't recommend that. But another good place is voice123.com. Voice123.com is basically a marketplace filled with voiceover talents. So you can have access to people who do voiceovers for big, big companies. And what you can do is you can search for talents and voice producers um, through this by going here and you can search for certain people that will do certain voices most likely with a promotional video I generally ch tend to choose a senior or middle-aged male um, depending on the product you should choose a female or a senior female it really depends on the product so you have to know your market if you know your market, whether it's teenage people, you know, it's children, you know, things like that, maybe you're trying to appeal to parents who have children. Maybe you can do that. But you need to find out who your target market is. Like I said, the majority of the time I use a male, senior male, or a middle-aged male. I don't really use a young adult male. And then you can pretty much choose through that and search for people. The good thing about Voice123 is that you can actually hear the demos of how people sound like beforehand. So you can pick and choose by doing that. You can also go back to Google and just type in voiceover talents. And you can search for you know, places that will do that kind of thing. Voices.com is another great place. I have not personally used that, so I can't recommend that. But I do recommend Voice123, and I do recommend Guru.com. Now, another website that I could recommend is if you go to VoiceOverWebsites.com. And if you go here, you'll find Todd Gross's voiceovers. Uh, he was a previous weatherman and a professional broadcaster. And if you like, you can actually see Todd Gross's samples and the things that he has done for people in the past. Now, I will mention this, as I mentioned earlier about voiceovers, that the voiceover is pretty much the key element to making a professional video. If you don't have a good voiceover, then you might as well say goodbye to your professional video. Because it doesn't matter if you have really good sound elements, really good soundtracks, and really good visual elements. If your voiceover is bad, then it's just going to make everything bad. So, whether you want to use a video or whether you want to put audio on your site, that's up to you. The nice thing about Todd Gross's audio voiceovers is that you can actually take it and implement it into your video as well because he does send you the mp3 file. Just whatever you do, make sure that 
If you do hire a voiceover talent, you do receive a professional quality without any white noise or anything like that. If you do create your own voiceovers, make sure that you speak slowly, excited, and make sure that your voice is clear. But if you, you don't feel confident enough and you don't want to waste all that time, then hire a voiceover talent who does it for a living.